Oh, how y'all doing out there? It's your boy, Nico B. This is the Black Journal. You already know what this is. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, donate to the Patreon and the Black Fund if you so see fit, you know, to help inner city youth and uh, build non for profits in the inner cities. All right, let me get into this. And I got to get into this uh, quick, quick uh, topic and message, man. Uh, this is something that's plaguing the black community right now, you know, and what it is, is this culture of I'm a sleep with your man. I take your man. Why are we in this culture of when has it ever been cool to be on some I take your man or I'm finna sleep with your girl. I'm a sleep with your wife type shit man see that's toxic in the culture man you know and people buy into this with these rap artists and you know this social media and this uh bad girls club and all this freaking reality tv crap black the black community has absorbed that and the kid in the um the younger generation has absorbed that and now they think this shit is cool like y'all f they fucking the whole culture up they messing sus they messing um black society up that's the problem in the black community is all these children out of wedlock, you know what I'm saying? And all these kids everywhere with no love between the mother and father. You know, you got these women, you know, who just sleeping with men, having kids, then bounce, leaving them, bouncing, jumping and getting with a woman, you know, then jumping back with another man, having kids, just a bunch of fucking foolishness going on. You know, recently you just seen with Scottie Pippen and, and Future. This nigga Future is a perfect example, man. Future, the rapper, he can't, he cannot keep his freaking um. He the nigga don't have no discipline, is what I say. Nigga can't keep it in his pants, man. You know, he he buying into the lyrics, man. And and for you chicks who do that, you know what I'm saying? Who sleeping with a dude who wanna who wanna be a damn side chick? You know what I'm saying? And why if you married to a man, why you want to sleep with another dude and just pretty much defile yourself and dishonor yourself? And now you just look like a piece of trash, you know, in your husband's eyes. You can never reconcile that. It's hard to reconcile shit like that. Any nigga forgiving that is is a fucking cuckold simp. You know, that's <clears throat> that's biblical grounds for, for uh, divorce. That's the only grounds for the, and that's the thing in this, in this society, man. They, it's like, they just, they want the degradation of the, of the family, you know, black, and the black family especially. It's like they'll sacrifice everything to destroy, to keep the black family destroyed, you know. Our Western uh, women in, in Western society pretty much has taken a hit like when it comes to marriage and relation and relationships, you know, what I'm saying due to our, like I said, a whole bunch of this social media and other things. But the black community gets it the worst. We it's we seem to get the bastardized form of everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it goes. I mean, it's sad to say but that's due to a lot of other factors you know what i'm saying but yeah so we don't have time to be buying into that we need to maintain and, and rebuild our community and our cult and maintain our culture we have to be vigilant we can't be out here you know what i'm saying like i said just out of pocket everybody just fucking acting like wild animals you know what I'm saying? I don't care. They don't care about nothing. Don't nobody even care about marriage no more. This is supposed to be a sacred bond between uh you you two and God. You know what I'm saying? That's why these vows are in play. You know what I'm saying? Through death do us part, all this other stuff. But people don't even value that. So that's why it's like dudes, it's that's why a lot of men like, why the fuck would I even get married with all this disloyalty going on? All of this uh, you know, free sex and you know, people not caring about, you know, uh they're just sleeping with everybody, you know, and, and for men, like I said, women acting like, you know, they don't need these men. Like the men is like the the smallest factor in the relationship, not realizing his worth, you know, so men not even trying to get married no more. You know, for the most part, like I said, dating in the black community is like a my uh, us like dating in the black community is like navigating a minefield. You know what I'm saying? You just step on them. You just you try. You don't know what the fuck unless you got, you know, what I'm saying the discernment of the Lord, like a radar. You know, it's it's pretty much you not, you know, it's hit on. It's very, very dangerous out here. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with these people sleeping with everybody, you get in a relationship. What's the point of being in a relationship? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers uh, got side motherfuckers, got side chicks, got side niggas. And for women, like I said, for dudes, it's messed up for you to, you know, sell a woman a dream and do all this and make all the vows, chase her down. You know what I'm saying? Be like, this your woman of your dreams. Do all this simp stuff. And then at the end of the day, you go off and, and uh, pretty much just get a, and cheat on her. And ruin the relationship. I don't get dudes like y'all. Y'all niggas seem retarded to me. Y'all niggas seem like, you know, a bunch of, just a bunch of uh, hypocrites, you know what I'm saying? And all y'all niggas really in it for is pussy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not trying to build no legacy. Y'all not trying to build with the woman, you know. You're not trying to mentally strengthen her or nothing like that. All y'all in it for is pussy. You know, and for the most part, niggas talk all that polygamy and polygamy and all that shit. You know, that's not conducive for the average man you know what i'm saying your average man ain't even got that much bread to be taking care of island women your average man don't have that much time you know what i'm saying and your average man you know what i'm saying don't have um that much attention to give and devote he can't handle one woman for the most part of this is you know what i'm saying in this day and time that's why the lord is designating a man to have one wife out here you know in this times today you know, that's that's how it works. You know, you don't have enough lifespan enough. You know, this this shit ain't set up for all of that polygyny, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas need to find y'all. And you niggas, like I said, for y'all simps, you simps and y'all niggas who I heard just be talking that yang, 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 saying you want to, you know, you look, you just trying to uh, speak to the tune of the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you want a decent woman and you you doing all this. Nah, nigga, y'all niggas just want some pussy because that's all y'all do is be in these thoughts, Instagram. All y'all do is be in, on uh, if, uh, liking every, every picture, coming. Chicks be having like a thousand heart likes and shit like, bro. Bro, after the hundred one, you didn't want to stop. You know what I'm saying? You didn't think that you know this is getting redundant now. After the hundredth one, you fucking niggas is stupid. Like I said though, man, this community of and this, I mean, this culture of I take your bit and these raps promote that shit. That's why I said rap need to either change or go the fuck away because right now it's not helping the black community. It's lost this the spirit behind it. It need to be called something else. Right now there is no more hip hop or rap. It's trap pop. The only hip hop artist I say is a few, you know, that I can name on my hand. You know what I mean? So that so it's over. Call that shit trap pop or something else because it's no longer hip hop, it's no longer helping the community. If we fall from public enemy, you know what I'm saying? We even fall from you know, uh we fall from crisscross, we fall from anything heavy, we fall from heavy D. We fall from Buster Rhymes back when he was, you know what I'm saying, with the leaders of the new school. We fall from brand newbian. We fall from all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We fall from even some some Jay Z. <laughs> and that's sad to say. You know what I'm saying? We far from a jigger man. And he wasn't the most positive, but he was definitely, you know, had more message than and showed more growth than these goofs. This on these raps to my fuck you, bitch. I pop a Zan. I'ma go in the sleep and I'm the man. I'ma smoke some <laughs> so I'm a fuck you, bitch, pop a Zan, smoke some weed, I'm the man. These are probably actual lyrics from somebody, and I don't I could just do this all day. You know, it's freaking this this it's getting weird out here. Like I said, this these rappers and these women rappers is just the worst too. They promote what happened like to to like now it's just like they just everything is foolishness. You know, promoting and and no and everybody, you know, in the black community just, just eating it up. You know, eating it up and supporting this shit. This is what y'all support. But y'all don't want to support the positive stuff. Y'all don't want to support the brothers who out there are, you know what I'm saying, really grinding, taking their time out to school the youth and do their thing out here in these in these communities. Y'all want to argue with them all day. That's all y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Black folks, you know, you hating. Are you doing this? That's all y'all do, man. You know what I'm saying? When niggas try to stand up, you know what I'm saying, and, and put their foot down to this foolishness. I'm not with this shit. Like I said, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? If you got to give up your rap, your waps, you know, you got to give up your waps. Fuck it. You know what I mean? It's time. You know, hip hop had its run. You know what I mean? It's like disco at this point. 
You know what I'm saying? And every dusty nigga out and, you know, want to rap and do something like that. And it's like, man, it's a million other things to do to get money and get rich. Why you want to buy into this foolish culture? Because all this culture is is a bunch of trolling, bunch of name calling, bunch of I'll sleep with your man. I'm a t Niggas be doing this shit out of spite, using these women as pawns, you know, and women be doing it with men. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get with men for for certain reasons, using their body. That's prost That's light work prostitution, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's a lot of foolishness going on. But, yeah, this that shit is ruining the black community. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, you know, you marry, man. You you doing all this stuff. If, if you got that, you know, some people don't don't look at things like you do. Some people, you know, look at that stuff as for a bond for life. Like, and you start trying to, to do. That's why I don't be sleeping with no married women. Because, you know, you do that shit. You know, you leave yourself open to getting yourself your, your fucking head blown off. Because not everybody hold this shit like you do. You just holding it willy nilly, like oh fuck it, I don't care. I'm just getting me some some ass. I'm just getting some dick, and you know, man. nah. But that other person, though, you know, thinking it is to death do us part, and they finna come part your ass from the planet Earth, you know, and you gonna wake up, you know, in front of the, in front of Saint Peter and in the gates, and you getting judged, and you know, it's your judgment gonna be. They gonna be good, buddy. So you niggas need to watch all that. Y'all need to watch that stupid stuff. It's that's ridiculous. You know, you don't nigga, it's a, it's tons of pussy out here, tons of dick. Women can you say say they can get dick, you know, at any time. You know, a dude, if you you know, these dudes out here with this money, you could you could go get some pussy anytime. Why is you sleeping with a nigga wife? Future, what the hell is wrong with you? I know that chick bad and all that. I, you know what I'm saying? But you can go get a, a bad chick any day of the week. Like, bang, hit Magic City up, flag out, drop a hundred, nigga, and then you can get sucked out, fuck. Lord, part my French, all of that. But I'm just saying, all that real stuff. And you, and you people know this. You know, that's what happens. These dudes get women throwing at them, throwing ass at them left and right, man. So that's it. So stop all that foolishness. You know, that's not helping the black community. And all the and all the conscious brothers and sisters need to be bombing on that. That's why I be bombing on this foolishness. And I get, you know, like I said, I'm a I'm a R and B fan myself. You know what I mean? Hip hop is cool, you know, when it's when it's hip hop, but this other shit, this shit right here, I'm 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 against it. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? So it's your boy. Nico B, Black Journal, the world's most dangerous podcast. I'm out.